chill stream. No detractor memes, bathroom breaks, playing WWE, relaxing chill session of Street Fighter 3. It's like I'm getting my vibe back from 2017. Jill Murray spends his whole fucking day talking about Phil. I swear to God, everything in my life breaks. Oh, shoot. My God. <laughs> Yo, what up? It's your boy, man. Oh, the last week or so has just been glorious, man. Phil's just taking all kinds of big, juicy body hooks <laughs> from him getting shuffled from stream elements to him getting just straight bodied for three days in a row i'm surprised phil didn't jump out the condo window playing street fighter 6 i'm telling you this guy actually is breaking in all seams like i don't know how else to say it and i say it all the time but phil he's deteriorating from the inside out and from the outside in bro like this channel is it's on a it's final slow decline. It's the slow burn. And I'm sitting here lighting a blunt and just watching it with a big smile on my face. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys saw the last video or if you keep up with what's going on, Phil got man, he got curve stomped on Twitter the other day. His ego you know, all Phil has is his ego, you know? He has nothing else, really, to hold on to. So when Dak got bruised and attacked, Phil had to lash out like he always does. And you figure, all right, Phil, you got you got it out on the Level 1 podcast, dude. Let's move on. But nope, you know Phil, he has to be Phil. So, of course, he's still seething over his bruised ego over everything happening to him in his life so let's just see his meandering rant <laughs> that he has to do now and remember to like subscribe comment share all that good fun stuff my friends let's jump into it i guess i'll leave the filter on that way i don't look like i'm i got sunburn um yeah today's october 2022 of course i am dsp in the flesh dsp in the flesh yeah, gin-soaked flesh, bro. Like, I bet Phil's skin feels like a cheap leather couch from Goodwill. Okay, I can't imagine how it wouldn't be. Yesterday was the day when, like, all the negative forces, right, conspired together. They all just, like, consolidated into one ball of crap. And, uh, I'm glad to be past that, because you have days like that in life, right? Every possible thing goes wrong around you. <clears throat> You know, when you're trying to feel good and it's kind of hard to keep that kind of positive mentality with, with the events that transpire. Um, not to say that today's going to be a perfect day or anything like that, but today will be a full day of streaming. Today originally was not supposed to be, um, but due to the unforeseen circumstances yesterday, uh, I had to kind of change the schedule up this week, uh, which I did not intend and I don't like doing. I don't like changing things last minute because as you guys know, since I became a full-time streamer. I swear to God, Phil is such a victim, dude. Imagine being the architect of your own demise. The architect of the negativity that comes your way. And sitting here crying about it, bro. That's like pouring... Like, Phil's a guy who's poured gasoline all over himself. Lit himself on fire. And is sitting here screaming... Why am I on fire? Why is this happening to me? Like, what? Why me? Phil just... Phil suffers from two conditions. I'm Dr. Chill. <laughs> I'm telling you, Phil suffers from bitch nigga syndrome, dude. And he suffers from the why me's, man. Why me? Why me? Why? Why does everything bad happen to me? Oh my god, Phil, go get a Kleenex, dude. Crazy as hell. Five years ago, I really hold myself to a standard a little different than a lot of other streamers. A lot of other streamers are just, ah, oh, willy-nilly, we'll just do whatever today. We'll turn on the stream and, and mess around whenever I feel like. Um, you know, a lot of them don't even make consistent schedules. They just kind of toss stuff out there on the fly. And I don't like that. I like... Uh, being someone who has a consistent schedule, someone who you can trust to be here 
certain set times so you know exactly what's going on when, especially because I'm a variety streamer, you know what I'm doing <clears throat> each and every stream because, because you don't know it could be something different. One stream I could be doing a horror game, another game, uh, another day I'm doing a a fishing stream one day i'm playing a fighting game one day i'm playing a first person shooter next thing you know it's a chill rpg you know what i'm saying and so you need to know you want to be in the know about what's going on and when i change things up last minute people get upset because they plan around stuff you know what i mean like originally i was not going to be here tonight well phil it's like Dude, does he have autism or something? Because it's like, <laughs> it's like he understands what separates him from other streamers, but he doesn't understand. <laughs> and it's like you want to get him a mental health coach, you know, something to, to someone to, that comes to his house once a week and teaches him how to read and do social skills and music therapy. Because I think Phil probably has autism. I think he has a touch of the autism, bro. Oh, God, I'm horrible. But, like, think of it. Like, what, Phil? Did that... Yes, Phil. There is a fun... Of, like, yes, Phil. There's a fundamental difference between you and other streamers. Other streamers don't need to hammer in their viewers' heads. What time, what day, <laughs> what place that he's gonna be streaming. No other streamer sits here, Phil, and begs for, for money. <laughs> no, no other. Oh, oh, God, that I'm about to choke on pure air, bro. Oh, oh, no other streamer does what you do, Phil, and that's why you are so unsuccessful. And other streamers are more successful than you. <laughs> I don't get how he doesn't comprehend this. Oh, God. I'm sorry. The guy actually makes me laugh. He is really a, he's a, he's dumb. Oh my God, Phil. You're the most mediocre streamer alive. Hands down alive, bro. Like, dude. Oh, God, we need to keep going. And... So people were like, okay, cool. So Phil's not going to be here, you know, on the night off or do this or that. And then I was like, well, you know, yesterday went horribly. Which I'm sure we'll just summarize it quickly in a second here, what happened yesterday. Um, and because it went horribly, I got to stream an extra time, even though I had no plans to do it. I thought I could take the night off to do patron stuff, but now I got to do an extra stream. <laughs> oh, I just literally tears in my eyes. <laughs> oh, God, because Phil... Phil's little feelings got hurt. He got ratioed on Twitter. His little ego got bruised. He needs to stream one more day. Oh, Phil. <laughs> like, who are you kidding, Phil? Like, you just, I don't understand you sometimes, man. <laughs> what, you need to extra day for more therapy sessions with your fans? So you could talk out your problems with everybody instead of actually seeking help with your crazy ass needs to go do, Phil. Oh my god, the guy's killing me right now, dude. To work enough, to raise enough, to, to afford stuff for my family. I got my day off coming up on Thursday. I've got commitments and necessary things I need to do. For my family, I have commitments and things to do. Yeah, Phil's called being a goddamn adult. And shut the hell up. It's you, a horse, and a cat, bro. That's not exactly a family, dude. It's two people shacking up in a shit shack with an animal, okay? <laughs> Get out of here, Phil. It, this is really fucking showing me that cat probably doesn't even have a job, bro. Or if she does have a job, the chick only probably works like a couple days a week, man. Like, why, Phil? Why is it up to just you to pay the bills? The two big bills. <laughs> Shopping for the week. Um, pet supplies. And, you know, a few other things that I believe we're out of now that I need to restock uh, in the house. In, in truth, you want to know the truth? We need to do another Costco run, and I can't afford it. You know? Um... We're running out of the things that we bought at Costco over a month ago. We, we bought like paper towels and, and, and paper plates and commodities. We're running low on some. So we need to go back, but I, I can't afford it. 
I have to do another Costco run. If I can be honest, I have to do another Costco run, guys. I need your money so I could go play around at Costco all day where normal people that don't have money, they go to the cheapest fucking grocery store. I want to choke Phil. I swear to God, I want to kick him in the goddamn chest because he does this. <laughs> Oh my god, the guy kills me sometimes, dude. Oh, boo-hoo, Phil. People need to pay for you and Cat to go to Costco? Dude, you are not poor. You make over $100,000 a year. Dog, what is this, Philip? Oh, 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 my head. <laughs> pay for it. I'm, I'm waiting till a week when I have enough that I can head out there and do it again. And then on top of that, I've got... Halloween coming up, and you guys voted for a video game character costume, okay? So I have a lot to think about and like what I want to do, but I can't order anything right now. Like I can't, I couldn't go to the store and buy a costume or order a costume. I don't have the money for it, you know. And this sucks. Great, and I have freedom because right now I'd like to just go right on Amazon and see what they got and pick something awesome. I, I can't do that, you know. Like that's just normal adult stuff, Phil. Sometimes you don't have the money to afford all the stuff. Like, Phil's so entitled, bro, that he thinks he's he should be able to afford every single thing on his grocery list. Like, every single thing. You know, bro? Oh, my God. I'm an actual chef. I love to cook. There, if I could, dude, I would have everything in the store in my grocery cart. But I can't. I can only afford so much, Phil. Like... You don't even budget your money, and that's what makes it make no sense. You make no sense. Your life is like some fuck jigsaw puzzle that's put together with little pieces of feces. Because, like, come on, dude. No normal adult lives like Phil. He's right. He's different than us. He's a different content creator. He's a different kind of grown adult, bro. All right? Cause I don't get the how does he not understand the concept that you are and that you are not entitled to get everything you want on your grocery list or whatever, Phil. Sometimes, dude, you you can't even pay a bill. Some people out here can't even pay all the bills, dude. But nope, Phil needs to be able to like clockwork. Phil needs to have everything done at risk of you having to be able to get everything done. He's full of it. He's amazing. He, he irks my nerve, man. Oh, God. I need to take a deep breath. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? It's like when he acts like the, a little pompous, entitled ass, that's legitimately when he kind of honestly irks my nerve. It's like, Phil, like, you're an adult, dude. Like, how do you not get that concept that sometimes you can't afford everything you need? Why do you need to beg and pressure and push and squeeze your audience for everything they're worth so you can have the most comfortable life? Like, what? that doesn't even make sense, you know? Situation I'm in right now where because, you know, you have a bad day or a slow day that you're not expecting out of nowhere... It throws a monkey wrench into the plans of everything. And then everything gets kind of held up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it is what it is. So, today I hope for a better day. You know, yesterday was a rough one. What happened yesterday? Well, I woke up to being ridiculed on Twitter by a bunch of th thousands of children, essentially. Like, immature people from a community that I'm not a part of anymore. That I don't want to be a part of anymore because of that kind of behavior. You know? All they want to do is jump on memes that aren't even true. Memes that are factually disproven a million times. How is that disproven, Phil? You literally won just one prominent tournament, bro, and it was 4th place EVO. And you took that and gassed yourself up and called yourself the best Street Fighter Super Turbo 2 player in North America. Hands down. You said it. Those words came from your mouth, bro. Alright? And that's literally what started this whole shit show shock saga that we all got to deal with. <laughs> like, come on, Phil. Like, you like to say, you're the one, bro, that won fourth place in evil. You're the one. Okay, you. All right? Not me. Shit. I, I'm just pointing and laughing at you, Phil. Get out of here. We're not the children you are. 
You're the one that's, like, you're literally the one, dude, that's sitting here still waving his hooves around, doing damage control, trying to redo the narrative, dog. Trying to act like you're just a victim, bro. Like, get out of here. Everybody else done moved on with their lives. <laughs> like, the dude that, you know, got with quotes, he's moved on. Everybody else have moved on. I done moved on. But of course you're... Of course you. Not you, Phil. You, not you. You have to come here again. Bitching and moaning. You know, they don't care about who they hurt or who they laugh at. Um, even though I didn't do anything. I didn't ask for it or cause it. I didn't insult anyone. I didn't cause any drama. You know, I made a factual observation based on my own life experience and how I've changed over time. Somehow... That's warrant, you know, that's grounds to insult me publicly. Like, put my balls over the coals. Give me a nut roasting, right? Well, it's, it's actually fucked up. And uh, people are like, well, why do you let it bother you? Because I don't deserve it. And, it, you know, it's one thing if I do something wrong or I do something stupid. And then you could be like, oh, you know, that's deserving. Or it's another thing if it's my detractors. Because if it's my detractors, they, they're always on me. My detractors are always on me. Yep, we damn sure <laughs> Phil, <laughs> but no, you know what, nah, Phil, you legitly were doing a dig, okay, you got called out for it, and it, it was a little dig, he did a dig back, and it was at his ego, Phil's ego got attacked, and oh my god, bro, that's the one thing that Phil, that's all he has left, his ego and the good, the memories of the good times. When he was a, a big YouTuber. Like, think about it. Like, yeah, he talks a lot of shit, you know? And he's a very jealous, envious person. But the one thing, it's like, you know, the one thing that shines before everything is his ego. He thinks that he's one of the first big guys on YouTube to do first plays. He thinks he's one of the first dudes that he thinks he should, he deserves to be a millionaire and have millions of subs and a big house and to not be in debt and to not have criticism thrown his way. Phil, Phil thinks so. He thinks he's really good at fighting games, bro. So he doesn't deserve when he does it. You know, think about entitled, what an entitled little puss. <laughs> Like, he really thinks he should just be criticism-free. He should just he should just be able to do whatever he wants with no consequence, man. And that, that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's why I'm going to stay on his ass. And that's why it's, oh, no, this guy's legitly a sociopathic weirdo, bro. Like, we're lucky that Phil just plays video games, you know, and he doesn't stalk the streets at night. Because I'm telling you, there'd be missing people if Phil had more, you know, <laughs> like, mischievous, like mischievous fucking intense instead of just trying to scam disabled people. I'm a hole in the wall. I don't know who the fuck this person is. Oh, uh, just because I can, it's time to, to, dis to destroy someone on the internet today. You know, just on a whim, on a laugh. Yeah, that's disheartening to think that humanity is that low right now. That just because you can, you will just hurt someone. Just because you can get away with it. Wow, that's a really awesome feeling about mankind in general and the fighting game community as a whole. It's kind of like all that positivity that I built up over the weekend. Play beta, finger snapped away in a heartbeat by the scumbags of that community. You know? And there's a lot of them. So that happens. And then what happens after that? Continuous negativity all day long. Overwatch 2. I play it for an hour. I'm having a good time. You guys are having a good time watching me. The momentum is there, and then the game dies. Can't play it for two hours. So now I got nothing to do. I do a little bit of Q&A, but, you know, people are upset. Well, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I wish the game worked. I wish Blizzard had their act together. They this is so sorry of Phil right now. This is probably the most... Like, you know, Phil rants a lot, bro, but this legitly is a very salty rant towards just a community as a whole. Like, Phil... <laughs> The FGC doesn't like me no more. They don't say anything positive about me and all the things I've done for that community. They're all scumbags, Snort. Fuck them. I hate them all. <laughs> like, Phil, I think it's finally dawning on him, dude, that he was never liked in the FGC. 
He likes to make excuses as a wife. They don't like me in FGC because I used to just speak my mind. Like, no, Phil, you, you are just a really scumbag piece of shit dude who always just coming around talking crap, dude. I swear, he's the perfect example of don't throw stones if you live in a glass condo. <laughs> um, this was, what, the fifth attempt of me trying to play the game? To the point where now I'm done with it. And I mean it, too. Like, I, I'm laying the law here. I'm absolutely not caring anymore. I'm not playing it again. Unless unless I'm absolutely been convinced by you guys that this thing has worked for weeks at a time with no problems, I'm not wasting another moment on that game. Um, I like it, but it's not worth it. As someone who, again, prides himself on consistency in a schedule and someone who runs a business, they're not professional enough for me to waste my time on them anymore. You know, one time, two times, three times, four, five times, and it still doesn't work is enough for me. Okay? So, again, if it decides to work, great. But, I, I, you know, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not even putting it in my schedule. I'm done with that game. But what ended up happening was, with only one hour of gameplay instead of three, people were very upset. They didn't want to see an hour of Q&A. So, the stream ended up being an insanely low support stream, when it's a new, normally a daytime stream when I rely on that to be my very supportive stream um, for the day. And usually I'm not going to play Overwatch 2 again, unless you, the audience, lets, let me know when it's working, because I can't be bothered to keep up with stuff like that. It's too much happening on Twitter, guys. The condo's falling apart. A dishwasher, thousands of dollars. Hulk Hogan, I don't know, guys. Too lazy to keep up with updates of a game or to just press play to see if it just worked for a few seconds, guys. Sorry, Snort. Fucking what a lazy POS, bro. That's how unprofessional Phil is, man. The guy's like, well, yeah, the game isn't working. <laughs> uh, you guys want to do Q&A and give me money? Like, God dang it, bro. This guy just likes doing this instead of doing this. Like, that's what you need to be doing, Phil. It's supposed to be like the slower street, right? But it ended up being slow because of that. And then my night nice stream of Disney Dreamlight Valley, you know, Disney Dreamlight Valley is hit or miss. And it depends on who shows up. And it depends on the day. Some days there's a lot of support. Some days there's not. Some days there's a lot of people. Some days there's not. It really depends. Last night was kind of an okay stream where we had a good amount of people, but the support was quite slow. And then all of a sudden it picked up near the end. Which again would have been fine if the daytime stream had been good. But the daytime stream was a flop because of Blizzard. So it kind of ended up just being a series of unfortunate events over and over. Oh, by the way... We even had problems with Disney Dreamlight Valley wouldn't boot twice. The game was having issues. <laughs> First, it wouldn't boot at all. So I had to wait like five minutes to actually boot it. And then we started playing it, and then it kind of crashed in the middle. I had to reboot it again. I don't know, Phil. Maybe it's a sign you need to just quit to go get a job. <laughs> like you're seeing your play Disney Dreamlight Valley, Phil. Like, the only people I've seen play, like, the only other streamers I've seen playing that game seriously are, like, overweight fucking 40-year-old streaming women. <laughs> like, I just see moms, bro. <laughs> Disney moms and weird, the, the weird Disney dads. <laughs> Oh, Phil's sitting here on <laughs> expecting people to tip him. Oh, and he's going to blame the devs. Like, he's blaming Blizzard for Overwatch not working. And, you know, when Overwatch didn't work for him, he's like, we, lo we love doing this. It proves I can just sit here and talk, snort, and you guys will still tip me. And we still have a good, chill, positive time. Like, that's literally what he said. And I was like, and everybody was mad that, that we had to do an hour Q&A, and it's your fault, Blizzard. Like, bro, he's such a hypocritical, stupid-ass <laughs> I really got to lend him my cursing. <laughs> but you know what I mean? He's such a hypocrite, dude. It's disgusting. Like, come on, dude. The guy can't even keep the lies in his head straight. At least for me. <laughs> Oh, like he blames everything, everything happening. All his unfortunate events are our fault, guys. It's the FGC. 
We done kicked him around on Twitter, curb stomped him and jumped him. Uh, Overwatch done fucked him over. <laughs> like, come on, what else, what else is gonna go wrong for Phil? <laughs> it was just out of control. It was like everything that could go wrong did go wrong yesterday, you know? Um. So, yeah, it's, it's disappointing, man. And I'm sorry about that. You know, I don't like being negative. I don't like having negative days like that. But it was just like thing after thing, you know, pile after pile of negativity on me, right? So the good news is, and sometimes we get really good support. Man, would today be a great time for a rallying of support after yesterday being an incredibly underwhelming, disappointing day because of Overwatch. Today, if we could be hitting, uh, you know, the tips goals in particular, that would be great. That would really add an air of positivity and kind of, you know, rejuvenation and refocus to the streams if we could do that, all right? So today, if you are going to support my streams in any way, if you could, please tip. I'm trying to raise funds for my day off on Thursday. I've got today and tomorrow left to do so. <laughs> oh my God, this is so gross, bro. Phil can't even come up with a good reason to, you know, just support the stream, you know? Phil has to be, uh, it'll add an air of, um, what's the word, positivity, and, um, you know, refocus into the stri- w What, Phil? That doesn't even make any sense. Huh? Huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh my god, the greedy dude is, like, just running out of things, bro, I swear. Like, Phil, bring up the two big bills or something next time. Like, it's just support for supporting sake. Like, who, what, huh? 560. So we were getting there. And then, sadly, a member bomb that was dropped in early September expired. And we dipped all the way down to the low 500s. All right? I'm not changing it. I'm leaving it at 600. I feel with the amount of new game releases coming out this month, we absolutely can hit 600 members. Okay? We can do it. But... Just urging you, if, you're, if your membership expired, if you were thinking of supporting the channel, you know, with some gifted memberships, you might want to do it sooner rather than later, because I know for a fact we did have a member bomb at the end of September to hit the Halloween goal, and that's going to expire. All right? We don't want to wait till the absolute last minute <laughs> to try to hit this goal. See? So, well, what is the goal reward for this month? It is the first ever... DSP's Black Friday Ad Apocalypse Spectacular event. If we hit the goal of 600 members, I'll be doing a marathon on Black Friday. That is the day after Thanksgiving. So essentially, it's near the end of, of November. During this day, I will be reacting to advertisements, classic ones from the 80s and 90s, like the old time toys and action figures, television shows, movies, and things like that. But also, I want to react to some international ads that are like jaw droppingly shocking. Okay. I done called it. Called it. And it happened. <laughs> God damn it, I'm good, bro. <laughs> hey, your boy Chill Don't Miss. I literally said all his memberships were going to expire. Now he's literally low. He's at the same point he was last month. <laughs> Begging for membership. I ain't going to change it. I'm putting my hooves down. <laughs> Because he knows he's just going to get another membership bomb sometime this month. They're going to reach the membership goal. Same song and dance. They're going to expire. Because nobody wants to pay for this, Phil. Nobody wants this as a recurring payment on their bills. Okay? Oh, my God. I would lure... Oh, I'd be for... I would, like, want to jump off a building if for some reason this dude was my... A recurring payment like the water bill. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. You can keep your memberships, okay? 80s and 90s, and I can be reacting to things that I actually saw on TV when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. Please consider becoming a member or getting a membership. Um, I appreciate anyone who does support the channel in any way. You know, this week in particular, tips are the most important. So I have enough for my day off on Thursday. But yeah. The member's goal is pretty important, and it would be great if we could absolutely get some more members, okay? that That's so insulting, bro. He doesn't even need money for bills. He doesn't need, he doesn't need anybody's money. 
I need enough money for my day off. Like, really read between the lines of what he's saying. Phil, he has the money. He's good. He's comfortable, bro. As a 40-year-old adult, there should be enough, Phil. Okay? You don't have enough money to, like, holy shit. The guy just wants all of your money to just fucking burn it and throw it out the window. While Cat, you know, waves her hooves around screaming, I'm queen of the world, dude. This is really insulting, bro. Like, the rest of the money he's supposed to make, bro, Phil's trying to take about $1,200. Hat Phil, you need to come up with better lies if you're going to do this. But he's out of lies, and he just doesn't care anymore. He's just like, I, I just need that bag. Uh, Phil needs to get that bag. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Like, come on, Philip. This is stupid, man. Like, no, don't give Phil all your hard-earned money so he could just, what, go have fun? Would it take his horse out on a good long ride around the town? No. By the way, I guess I should preface this. If you ever would like to donate anything to the stream or anything like that, here's how you go about it. Email me at darksidephilahotmail.com Tell me exactly what you're what you're planning on. All right, give me your ideas. If it's something that I'm interested in, or it sounds like something that could be helpful, I'll let you know. I'll agree to it. Please do not just send something here. If I get something with no advance notice and I don't know what it is, it goes right in the trash. I hate to say it. Yeah, over the years, there's been some pretty malicious, fucked up people who try to do fucked up things, and I can't just have shit just come into the house. I can't. If it does, and I don't recognize it, I didn't know it was coming, I'm sorry, even if it's fucking a pot of gold, it's going in the trash. I don't know what it is. I have to be safe with my family, okay? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Like, Phil literally thinks that people are gonna try to mail him a bomb or something, dude. Like, oh, or a poison cake, <laughs> dog. Oh my god. Like, Phil knows that people just don't like him. No one likes him, period. So he's just like, if, you, if I just get a package, I'm throwing it in the trash. <laughs> like, why do you have to email Phil and let, hey, Phil, I'm sending you over a, a pack of Pokemon cards, bro. Hope you fucking like them. Phil just be like, uh, I don't like Pokemon cards. You can keep them. Like, Phil's such a, he's such an entitled little brat. He's like a, a little girl, dude. Uh, I'm so afraid of the outside world and anybody that wants to interact with me. The only interaction I like is support, and support is mandatory, S snort. Send me a gift without asking me first, and I'm gonna throw it in the trash, because I really don't give a fuck. I just want the money, snort. Oh <laughs> my god, Phil is wild, and he's a puss. The only other thing that I have to talk about today before we get to shoutouts, because there's a few contributions to shout out before we get to like Q&A and stuff. Um, so after the events of yesterday, and the really nasty treatment that I got on Twitter for literally no good reason, just someone deciding to be a scumbag to me who I don't even know, um, I decided to do something funny. Basically, it was bait. It was stupid that they fell for it. So last night, I was about to go to sleep, all right? I was, I was actually in bed when I posted this tweet. All right, guys. Here's the, chair. Here's the stupidest part of this video to end it all. <laughs> so Phil, dude... Phil's beast, bro. His ego is so bruised and beat up. Phil's so defeated. And you know he's an elitist little cuck. And he's angry. He's angry that, dude, he tried to get away with, you know, taking a shot at somebody. And he got clapped back again and again and again and again all over Twitter. And he's stewing in his juices about it, bro. So before he goes to sleep all drunk Phil says this uh, Phil said been scouring Twitter for something to innocently quote tweet before I sleep just so I could be viciously roasted by said party for no good reason in the morning reply to this tweet with your suggestions that I'll never read good night and it's like Phil you, you can't fool me bro you're seething man you are upset and you're still his ego still bruised and he's pissy bro and a little drunk so he's like and he left the comments open which should have been a red flag and if any, any of you guys commented in this 
it was like sh probably yelling into the dark. <laughs> you know, you should have known this was some kind of weird thing Phil's up to. Because, of course, he's about to go, I got you. If you commented on this, this sh you're the dumbass. Ack, 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 ack. And he's going to act like he did a level, you know, a 200 IQ play on everybody. It's like Phil... No, I'm intelligent, bro, and I can literally read this and tell that, you, dude, your feelings got hurt, like, that bad, bro, that you're just sitting in here in your head and your feelings, bro, like, dude, you need to go, you need to go to a therapist and talk about it, because what happened to you on Twitter, Phil, it's some kid shit, dude. Like, you're 40 years old, and, he, and uh, you know getting ratioed on Twitter got to him that bad. Because we attacked the one thing that Phil cherishes the most, and you know, that's his ego. And his reputation. The fourth place Evo, guys. <laughs> his life's crowning accomplishment in life. We, we uh, trampled that into pieces, and Phil got mad. But I think that's why this is funny more than anything. So yeah, he's gonna act a jackass right now and act like, I got you, ha 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 ha. And then I'm sitting here like, nah, Phil, Phil, like, dude, you're a, this is a bitch, man. This is bitch me. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, Phil would not last on the streets, bro. Like, he, he would just cry. Oh, and then, bro, he'd get robbed. Like, this guy is soft, dude. Phil's not a tough guy. He's not so guy. He's a pathetic old man. Now, if you actually read that and you believe it, you're smart. Because it was complete bait. All right? I wanted to do a, a, essentially a social experiment. I was curious. What would happen if I put up a tweet like that with replies open? All right? I was just curious. Now, here's the truth of the matter is I am never going to read it. I, I'm, there's no point. Right? See, so it was open-ended on it for a reason. I set it up like that as a trap, essentially. Okay? Um, so, as of this morning, nine hours after the post of that tweet, there were 87 comments. He looks like he's so proud of himself. Good job, little boy, Phil. Good job. <laughs> Who cares if you read him or not? The fact that you did this at all, Phil... Shows how much of a bitch you are, man. It shows how hurt. It shows how much you're seething and trying to cope, man. And it shows how bruised your ego is. So at the end of the day, the detractors and trolls and the FGC as a whole, we done got to you. You know, that's what it matters at the end of the day, Phil. Like you were taught, he was tossing and turning all night in his bed. But thinking about this, excited. Ah, I can't wait to tell them that it's a trap. Ack, ack, ack. Like, Phil, no. Dude, this is nothing. All right. Just like, just like the comments that are in here that you won't read, Phil. Th this is nothing, bro. But it's just, just another example of you being a little crybaby. You're a little girl, Phil. <laughs> One thing, if you'd be like, oh, maybe Phil accidentally left the replies open, right? But I literally say in it. Please reply to this tweet, engaging with people to reply to it, but telling you I'm never going to read it. So you're literally just talking to, an, to yourself. You're kind of speaking to an echo chamber for yourself to show how toxic you are. Phil, your whole little podcast and show, it's literally what you're doing. You're trying to project yourself onto the trolls. You need to stop self-projecting, bro. It's so odd. Like, your whole little show is an echo chamber for you and your toxicity, dude. But the thing about Phil's toxicity is that he makes money from taking, you know, from people's social security. And I paid for that. So no, 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 Phil. Not gonna let you do that, dude, okay? So you might say, well, what's the point of this? It's the point isn't for me, it's for you. Go ahead, go read up. I'm sure there's some of the most toxic, vile, disgusting things ever said on the internet or probably said in those replies. Um. Go for it. Go read up. Go go have a social experiment with the, the, the dregs of society, right? And see truly what is it that lies on the internet. You know what I'm saying? But essentially, Zen Shuriken hit it on the head. 
He says, give the kids a nice sandbox to tire themselves out in. Exactly right. That's exactly right. It was a social experiment to see if given opportunity in a rare situation, because always my tweets are set that you can't respond unless I follow you on Twitter, what would happen? Well, 87 people took the bait, at least as of this morning. I'm sure probably there'll be w way more now. Um, but hey, go ahead, read the nonsense, enjoy the... Uh, basically, people, if you, if you read any replies, you can just smile to yourself and say, wow, this is a really dumb person. They literally just set themselves up to say something nasty about Phil he will never read. Where it's like Phil's toxic, weird way to get attention. It's like a call for attention and him being a little crybaby all wrapped up in one tweet. No, no, I'm done. I'm not going to let Phil sit here and try to come up with some reason to make himself and his ego feel justified for doing this stupid thing. Social experiment. This guy could barely fucking put on socks, okay? <laughs> they dregs of society. Get out of here, Phil. Your channel is the dregs of YouTube. Welcome. You're right with us in the bottom, bro. I don't know what you were talking about. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. I got better things to do. I gotta start editing this and ship it out for you guys. And my wife wants me to be quiet. It's like 3 a.m. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta go. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good fun stuff. And low key, ooh, let's just make fun of Phil in the comments about him and his stupid ego and his pride. You can tell his pride is just trampled. <laughs> The guy's really upset, all in his feelings. You almost feel bad for him. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Everything was right, everything was right. I did nothing wrong, I did nothing wrong. Everything was right, everything was right. I did nothing wrong. Oh, the camera's out. I don't even know. I need your help and support. Pledge to pay.